if you remember on the first time uh, we have had this page zero and uh, there we have used this code block to page load zero but uh, what we can do as well just uh, for the sake of demonstrations is have a code block and check out what is the current num num is within the locals which is the element index and on interaction i want to see the debug window and it's eight okay the next one will be probably nine ten and 12. So this is num 8. Let's have first a va variable. So page change equals num mod 4 and print it. This is more like the advanced part for this tutorial and uh, Let's see. It's again page change is disabled because we have unsaved changes and now it's typing out zero. That's cool because we wanted this to be zero. What my goal is to create a small action block or a group of action blocks to use on each of the buttons without rewriting my every copy and paste action. So I'm showing you what I meant. Here we have now this page change uh, variable and functionality. And uh, what we expect is to use this page change on buttons uh, next to each other and uh, that's why this mod for calculation comes in handy because like uh, if we are going with the encoder last row then this last row is like from 12 to uh, 15 12 13 14 15 right and with mod for calculation it will be again 0 1 2 and 3 and uh, then we have a reusable bunch of action blocks which we can copy and paste around the button events. So I'm removing this and I have this part and I believe I can just come here to the element preset and it will be the button page change save. Now I have a button page change element preset and I can assign this to each of my buttons just like that and I have here this calculation now let's give it a try as well okay I'm going to page one that worked go back to page zero where I have this uh, element preset applied to my buttons go to the last one it worked again just as expected so if you come up with a great uh, calculation to uh, ease up the wall configuration process you can save that uh, control element uh, actions and stuff configured into an element preset and you can uh, use that on multiple control elements so you can yeah make the configuration flow a bit uh, more seamless so what i mentioned is that we could also assign this to the encoder ticks while one rotates an encoder to change the actual pages and for that we can use the page next and page previous commands uh, while using also the encoder in relative mode because in absolute it's like from 0 to 127 but we want the relative uh, uh, aspect of an encoder to decide if it's right or left. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start over with a clear page. Clear is a page only so it doesn't clear the clears the other pages just uh, this one and uh, so come here and encoder mode okay relative and encoder 
remove MIDI, code block, and add in this one and print in value. Okay, it's 63 or 65, but I'm going to use now simply the special block left or right rotation and uh, try this out in this part okay it works to the left part and that would work for the right part and what i want here is when i'm turning left it should go to page previous okay so page previous and uh, page current and page sorry page next are helper functions which are get calls so they get from uh, grids lower runtime uh, which page could be the next or could be the previous or is the current one but they don't actually load in the previous or next or current page you have to explicitly call page load for that so a page load will get the arguments uh, of page previous or page next uh, whether when I'm turning the encoder left or right in this scenario so okay we have our rotate left and rotate light sections and uh, we are going to make from this encoder an element preset encoder page change uh, on tweak okay store this and I believe if I tweaked one we are on a different page and now it doesn't do anything because we need to configure it but for that we have here the encoder page change on tweak overwrite is done this is basically the same uh, functionality like this copy all and overwrite so the init will also have the encoder mode configured so store it and uh, it will work and we are on the next page load it store it load it and store it so on single ticks I can change uh, the page make sure you don't accidentally change to but now it uh, works as expected and you can have your page changes on a single encoder